Club Penguin was a Disney media franchise that was created in 2005 with the release of the online massively multiplayer online game MMO Club Penguin, which was ended in 2017. Club Penguin inspired a variety of console video games, books and television specials. The game was replaced by a successor, titled Club Penguin Island, which was released on mobile and desktop, and was discontinued in 2018. The franchise lives on with unofficial fan recreations, such as Club Penguin rewritten. <laughs> Web-based video games <laughs> Club Penguin Club Penguin is a massively multiplayer online game MMO that ran from 2005 to 2017, created by New Horizon Interactive later known as Disney Canada Inc. after the game's acquisition by Disney. <laughs> Club Penguin Island As of mid-November 2016, Disney Interactive advertised a related but separate mobile gaming environment named Club Penguin Island, to become available in select languages and areas in 2017. Pre-registration was available for reserving player names. On January 30, 2017, it was announced that the original game would be discontinued on March 29, 2017. The game was released worldwide for mobile devices on March 30, 2017, the same day Club Penguin shut down. On November 30, 2017, the game was released on Windows and Mac OS. On September 27, 2018, Disney confirmed the imminent discontinuation of Club Penguin Island in a letter obtained by the website Kotaku, and in a blog post. Console video games The Club Penguin video game series is a series of party games for the Wii and Nintendo DS based on Disney's popular massively multiplayer online game, Club Penguin. They are published by Disney Interactive Studios. <laughs> Nintendo DS Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force was released in the U.S. on November 25, 2008, in Europe on March 13, 2009, and in Australia on April 16, 2009. In September 2009, a collector's edition was released and included upgrades to the game and extra features. Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force was released by Disney for the Nintendo DS on November 25, 2008. As members of the Elite Penguin Force, Players solved mysteries around Club Penguin. The game features minigames from Club Penguin. Coins earned by the minigames could be transferred to the player's Club Penguin account. Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force, Herbert's Revenge is a sequel to Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force. It was released on May 25, 2010 in North America, June 25, 2010 in Europe and July 8, 2010 in Australia and New Zealand. The game starts off as the player and former members of the PSA are recruited to be part of the EPF. You are put in six different PSA missions, starting with Secret of the Fur, and four game-exclusive EPF missions featuring the main antagonist, Herbert the Bear. Herbert's Revenge was announced on February 13, 2010 with a release of May 2010. A. Mysterious Penguin. Resembling previously established character. The Disguise Gal was a major character in the game, now online in Club Penguin. The sports shop where the PSA HQ was formerly located has now been changed to the Everyday Phoning Facility, and now everyone who was a PSA agent and has taken the test is no longer a PSA agent but is now an EPF agent. People who were already EPF agents and were able to access the EPF command room through the wardrobe in the PSA HQ no longer have any benefits, whereas members who have entered a code from Herbert's Revenge can now call the Elite Puffle flare from the game by using the Puffle Whistle button on the EPF phone, and performs a special action when you sit or dance with the Puffle, although you will soon be able to get more Puffles through the EPF phone. Wii In 2010, Disney Interactive Studios announced plans for Club Penguin, Game Day, a game for the Wii. 
It was reported that the game was released on September 21, 2010 in the U.S. Reportedly, the game would involve players working as a team trying to earn sections of land on an island, with the objective being to conquer the island. The game was based around several interactive games, some of which were 3D versions of games then played and games which appeared only at the Fall Fair such as Puffle Paddle in Club Penguin. Players were able to customize their penguins and choose their team blue, red, yellow, or green. Any points earned in the Wii game could be synchronized with Club Penguin. Club Penguin, Game Day, was developed by Artoon and released in September 2010. The game can be played by up to four people at once. There is also a single player mode. Club Penguin, Game Day, and its rating were first found on the ESRB site on April 2010, but it was taken down before May since the game was not announced at that time. It then was officially announced on June 10, 2010. The ESRB descriptor was put up again on July 2010. In the game, players can create and customize a 3D penguin and compete in a variety of challenges. Each time players beat a challenge, they conquer some territory on the island. The ultimate goal for players is to conquer as much territory as possible. Once, players could transfer coins, items, and stamps to his, her club penguin account. However, this is no longer working since May 20, 2014 at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when Nintendo discontinued the Wi-Fi support with the Nintendo DS and Wii. Television Factory TV specials British company Factory produced three TV specials based on the game, a Christmas TV special, titled We Wish You a Merry Walrus, aired on Disney Channel in the UK on December 17, 2014. A sequel to We Wish You a Merry Walrus, a summer special titled Club Penguin, Monster Beach Party was also produced and premiered on Disney Channel in the UK on August 10, 2015. A Halloween special based on the game, Club Penguin, Halloween Panic, premiered on Disney Channel UK on October 25, 2015. Topic books In honor of Club Penguin's third anniversary in 2008, Club Penguin released books that were published under the Snowball Press name. Outside of the virtual world, such books were published by Grosset and Dunlap and included guidebooks for the game as well as Choose Your Own Adventure style books. The series includes The Ultimate Official Guide to Club Penguin Volume 1 by Ladybird Books, Stowaway. Adventures at Sea by Tracy West, Stuck on Puffles by Ladybird Books, and Waddle Lot of Laughs by Rebecca McCarthy. On February 3, 2018, Club Penguin Island released an e-book titled Wish Upon a Squid which could be read via the Disney Story Central app. Players were given a code to get the e-book for free. The code expired on March 31, 2018. The book followed the story about a determined penguin named Lita and her journey across the island to discover her special talent. <laughs> 